Hey, it's Kate. Please stick around at the end of the video for a quick message from the Minute Earth team. In the 15th century, aristocratic British hunters invented some whimsical labels for groups of animals, like a gaggle of geese, a skulk of foxes, and a charm of finches. These collective nouns allowed the hunters to share their appreciation for nature's animals before shooting them. And unlike those unlucky critters, this fanciful way of describing groups of animals has survived the centuries, giving rise to pods of whales, mobs of kangaroos, and clouders of cats. Even though these terms rarely make it into the formal scientific literature, where it's often clearer to just refer to groups of animals as, well, groups, lots of people, including scientists, use collective nouns elsewhere. That's because replacing a generic label with a specialized mini-metaphor allows us to communicate something interesting about the animals. Terms like a leap of leopards and a romp of otters give us a sense of their behavior. Terms like a murmuration of starlings and a crash of rhinos let us hear them nearby. And terms like a murder of crows and an exultation of larks make us feel a particular way due to their presence. And just like the 15th century hunters, we also collectively noun the creatures modern to our day, like a mischief of Pikachus or a cog of robots. Okay, kind of ridiculous. But at its heart, this is just people showing their passion and appreciation for nature and language and fun. Taken all together, the ballet of nutcrackers, parliament of owls, flutterby of butterflies, knot of toads, labor of moles, wisdom of wombats, and so on, are a whimsy of collective nouns. Want to see more from Minute Earth? We need your help to make that happen. We put together a video about why support from you, our viewers, is more important than ever to the future of Minute Earth. You can watch the video by clicking here or on the link in the video description. Thank you.